Whoa, what the hell did Elemental just release upon us in their roadmap presentation yesterday? I mean, come on, we are pretty excited about some of the changes with the loop grid and post carousel, but they went and told us about the post filters coming on soon. Now, I hope that still relates to the products as well, but I want to talk big time about AI. Yeah, yeah, I know you're going chat GPT and Bing AI and all of that. No, I'm talking about inbuilt AI into Elementor. I mean, how did they keep this secret from us? Obviously, inside and in-house, they would have known about it unless maybe they didn't know about it. But I'm telling you, the AI element that we're going to get inside Elementor is blowing me away. We don't have any dates for when it's actually going to come out, but just look at what we see on screen here. We now have a facility to do right with AI. You put down a bit of a description over what you want, and it's going to go and churn out words for you. I mean, just look at that. Now you can really polish up your headlines and make them bounce or be punchy or more impactful. By the way, if you try and hit the play button over here, don't. This is just for the footage I'm playing back to you at the moment. But this is super super, super exciting. And it doesn't just work for headlines. It works on your text editors as well. Now, there is one little thing I will point out, and you can probably see on the screen there. We do have a blue button called upgrade. I still don't know exactly what that means yet. I feel like it's early days. Maybe there might be some sort of pro ratering or apportionment over how many words we can generate. I'm going to keep my eye out for this. Is this going to be a bit of an add-on? Who knows? I would love to know your comments about this. I do not know. I have asked the question. But I do think that whatever we get is going to be a bit of a game changer in terms of what we're going to be able to do with Elemental. And I love how we could just very quickly make it shorter as well there. I mean, look at the options, make it longer, simplify language, fix spelling and grammar. Hey, you know, I love to always make typos. It's not my fault that typos happen. And here's another little neat feature as well. You can actually translate. Now, some of the options in here, they're not fully, I mean, I don't know exactly what they've got covered off in here. But that looks very, very extensive and you can see a scroll bar and I'm sure, sure that will probably expand or maybe not over time. But I think, again, something that if you were building a website and of course you will have translate plugins. But what if you were now making an exact copy of your homepage and you were going to do it in French? This is going to speed up what you need to do again. I mean, anything that makes your processes more efficient, I'm all for. And I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, but AI will take over web design. No, it won't. You still need the human element, 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 the human element and interaction, just like me there. I mean, AI is not going to make gimmicks and problems like this when they speak, are they? Shall I edit this bit out? No, we'll leave it in. Here's the one that gets me super excited. Custom CSS. I use ChatGPT to help me write code snippets. I might get a bit of CSS code. I might use something else to help me refine it. Now, we can put in a prompt, and we are now going to get a coding AI system. This is Elemental knocking it out of the park. I will say now, and I will stamp on my table if I have to and break my table. What Elemental have done in the last six months has been brilliant, okay? I'm not just talking about the loop stuff as well and what's coming on board with the post filter. This is an amazing addition, however they've done it. I don't know what technology, if they've partnered with someone, how are they doing it? I don't know the full details, but this, to be able to go in and put in a description, okay? And we're gonna wait for that now as it generates the words. You know, we want it to do a bit of grayscale color, we want a bit of border radius and some other stuff. And it's now gonna generate the code. Now look at that code. Look at the code it's giving you there, right? That's the code it's generated. That is the exact same code that you now see in the bottom corner there for the custom CSS. It's not like you had to refine it. Now, I don't think anything is going to be as perfect as what we see here in this demo. I think there will be occasions where you're going to have to like adjust it, maybe refine it. I'm not saying you won't take that code and go and stick it into chat GPT or something else to better work on it. That might happen. It all depends on the complexity of the code you're trying to generate. But this, from the get-go, AI code that now allows you to do what they're doing here, look, you know, the color change until you hover over and you get the nice border radius. Uh, brain head explosion kaboom. 
I mean, look, here's another example. They're going to click on that, go to the advanced tab, and they're again going to go to custom CSS and go, okay, we want to do something a little bit spancy, like with some form of scrolling effect. Just get your head around this, okay? If you've ever been a bit like, well, I know I need to do a bit of CSS, but I don't know how to do it. This is going to massively help you. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not almost lost words like, wow, I cannot wait to get my hands on this and put it through its paces. We have to be honest here. This is just like a demo video we're seeing here. We can't actually test it out. How far does it go? How good is the AI behind it? What is the technology it's using? Um, is it chat GPT-5, which isn't even out yet? But, you know, what is it? We don't know. So I would love to see more details about it. Please put in your comments how excited or deflated or I don't care or there's something better out there. I've already got another tool. Are you about the Elemental AI? And it does say AI beta. That's another thing to bear in mind. It does say AI beta. So it, it, is this something that's going to obviously evolve? There is the upgrade option. What does that exactly mean in terms of add-ons or further subscriptions? Who knows? But Elementor, okay, the minute you get this out and you get the post filter out, the word game changer might just be plastered all over my YouTube thumbnail cover art. Maybe even a, I'll get a t-shirt printed with that. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And let me know what you think about Elemental AI in the comments. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game. Your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win a life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.